Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to today's segment of Hadith of the Day, Ask a Question with myself, Yusuf Badat. Let's look at today's question and inshallah attempt to answer that question. The question is, I am a little nervous about going to Juma during COVID-19, especially as the number of cases are rising. My local masjid is taking uh, the precautions, but when we enter and leave, it's not always possible to distance. In light of this, is it permitted for me to pray at home? So the answer to this question is, if we are in a region and if we are in a locality where there is an emergency order officially declared by the government and um, it, uh, the virus is still spreading and the pandemic is still rampant, uh, such as in the city where I live, Toronto, Ontario, in Canada, uh, the virus is increasing and uh, there have been uh, a rise in the cases. So definitely in this type of circumstance and situation, uh, the masajid are open and uh, there are precautions in place. Uh, for example, here in Toronto, we have a 30% building capacity uh, at the masajid, at the organizations where Juma is taking place. So uh, that being said, everyone, it's not possible for everyone to attend a place for Juma prayer. And uh, also there are situations where some of us may not be comfortable because of these difficulties as has been pointed out here that uh, the precautions are in place but as we enter or as we leave large crowds are not distancing uh, people are not wearing their masks properly uh, sometimes uh, in in some of the masajid in some of the organizations the uh, the rules are not being followed uh, so all this being said if someone is not comfortable uh, because we are still in the emergency order situation, uh, we, it would be permitted for us to perform Dhuhr prayer instead of the Juma prayer uh, at home. Uh, and according to the Hanafi view, if there are four male adults, uh, then definitely we can do a Juma at home as well. And uh, this is entrenched in the beautiful teachings of Islam uh, from source texts. For example, during the uh, pandemic, uh, that spread in, in Quds and in the uh, Sham region, in the Syria region, uh, during the time of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum, uh, Amr ibn al-As radiallahu anhu, he made a declaration. He said that these type of pandemics and plagues, they ignite like fire. And it's important that uh, uh, we go to the high grounds and, and we do not, um, uh, uh, you know, congregate. Uh, we also have reference from Imam Ibn Abdul Bar, rahimahullah, the great Maliki scholar who makes a statement and says that uh, anything that would cause disturbance in uh, a public level uh, that would also disturb the congregation in the masjid, it is best that we take all the precautions and we do what is necessary to save lives. Uh, we also have uh, authentic narrations where the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him, says, keep the sickly away uh, and stay away from those who are diseased and who have these type of viruses as a precautionary measure, again, to sustain life. So our faith and our tawakkul, our reliance uh, is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our full trust is with the Almighty. Uh, however, when it comes to uh, the... Uh, uh, the, when it comes to the precautions, we must adopt them. Uh, we know that any sickness and any virus, uh, any uh, difficulty that comes, it is decreed by the Almighty. Sometimes we've taken all the precautions, uh, but uh, a person still falls sick or ill. And in some situations, no precautions are taken and a person is protected. So we are bound to do both. From an Islamic perspective, we are bound to do both. We have to have full reliance on Allah, knowing well that only what Allah, the Almighty, decides and decrees, that is what will occur. And at the same time, uh, we need to also take our precautions, uh, which are advised to us by medical professionals. So there you have it, uh, Juma prayer. If uh, our local masajids are open to some degree with some uh, limitations and uh, the emergency order of the plague or the pandemic is still in place in your locality, then yes, you can perform 
Dhuhr prayer at home instead of attending the Juma. Some of us, even if we have the slightest symptoms, we should be performing Dhuhr prayer at home. If we are four males in our homes or in our places and of residence, then we can do a Juma prayer if we are following the Hanafi fiqh and the Hanafi jurisprudence. We make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us, keep us in His safety, and give us the best of shifa, peace, and prosperity. Until next time, Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.